Hey everybody, we're cruising back on the Temple 420 Bible Study and Torah Tour. I want to say a couple thanks for the comments that I get back and forth now. I love chatting or just giving a thumbs up, so I appreciate the thoughts. Because really it's the thoughts that are most important. So what is your first thought? What is your first th fruit? God, Hashem, Cannabis? Well, if you had three choices, which one would you pick first? Ah, there's a three-in-one question. We have our offering. We're in Deuteronomy 30. We're going to look at the separation between seed over here and seed over here. And keep in mind all the stories that Jesus says about the seed that falls from heaven. Part of the love that we're looking for is actually, can we love ourselves? And I've heard people say it for years. Unless you love yourselves, you can't love anybody else. I'm like, okay, how do we love ourselves? Well, we entreat ourselves to a little tree, not a trick. <laughs> Sorry, a little Halloween joke, a little Halloween color. But we're in Deuteronomy 30, and we're actually going through repentance. What is repentance? Jesus is made, the main message of Emmanuel. Jesus, is repent for the kingdom of God is here. Great, so the kingdom of God is like a mustard seed. No, it's like a hemp seed. It's cannabis, it's the aroma is the kingdom, the air. And we're supposed to be co-heirs, so we're supposed to breathe like being a living sacrifice. So repentance is when you come to God and say, coach, totally blew it, mispracticed, walked off the team, could care less about the plays. But now I'm focused and I want to study your system and I want to study all of your scripts and know all of your thoughts. So I brought you some flowers and some food and some love and all the other descriptions of righteousness, kindness, joy, gladness, and cannabis. So here we are with repentance in Deuteronomy 30. It will be that when all these things come upon you, the blessing and the curse that he has presented to you. So God presents us the option. He gives us an offering of food. Do you like it? I love cannabis. I'm like, yeah, can I sit with you and talk to you all day? Sure. But it's an offering. So we learn that the blessing and the curse go back to Jacob and Esau, and that determines who gets blessed and who gets cursed based on the aroma of the clothes from the field. So, it's an oil field. So where Hashem, your God, has dispersed you, and when you return to Hashem and listen to His voice and do everything that He commands and love Him with all your heart and all your soul, He will gather you in from all the peoples where Hashem, your God, has scattered you. If you dispersed if your dispersed will be at the ends of heaven, from there, Hashem your God will gather you in. From there, He will take you. Now remember, if we're going to sit around a campfire and chem OG or hemp fire, we're going to have to gather, gather wood, which is going to burn and that's going to be our, our food. So remember, if you hear the word gather, think about the campfire. Hashem, your God, will bring you to the land that your forefathers possessed, and you shall possess the land. He will do good to you and make you more numerous than your forefathers. Hashem, your God, will circumcise your heart. Yeah, he's going to write a little inscription. Says, I love you if you can obey me. If you don't obey me, I won't love you. I love Jacob. I hate Esau. Bye. Uruk Hashem. We'll be right back.